Hey guys, today we are going to be diving in to Gala Games and the Gala Token, um, which over the past month at one point was up 223% in one month. That's pretty damn impressive. Um, and we're going to be covering it in this video. So when I was trying to find out a little bit more about Gala Games, it's a, it's a token that I've looked at previously. I did go to YouTube and typically, you know, if you go and type in Gala Games now on YouTube, or Gala token, um, you're just going to see a load of um, Moon Boys posting charts and telling you this and that and the other, even though they haven't got a clue. Um, and there's nothing really actually out there telling you what Gala Games is, where it's come from, what it's doing, how it works, um, and also covering the price as well. So we're going to be doing that in this video, hopefully. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move my face to the bottom of the screen, make it small so that you guys can see the full presentation. This is going to be in a power um, point presentation format. Uh, reason being is because it's quite comprehensive and there's a lot in here. But by the end of this PowerPoint, you guys should not only know what Gala Games is, who founded it, why it was founded, you know, um, how it works uh, and a little bit of the price action and history and also go over some recent announcements like the fact that I think Rock, uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson and Mark um, Wahlberg have got a partnership that's involved with Gala Games, which may be why it's done so well. And also they're talking about burning fees. Um, burning fees is a mechanism that's been implemented for a variety of cryptos and it's really a price appreciation uh, mechanism. So actually what I want to do is just make sure that even with my face, you guys can see the screen behind me. Yep, it looks good. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So Gala Games was founded by Eric uh, Shemir and Michael McCarthy in 2019. Eric founded Gala Games through a company called Blockchain Gaming Partners um, Incorporated. Eric Shemir... Um, is the former CTO of Intermix Media, the company behind MySpace, and also he is the co-founder of Zynga Gaming Company, um, a company with a $9.3 billion market cap, so valuation. Gala market cap is roughly $200 million-ish for anybody interested. Eric is the CEO of Gala Games. So this guy has had involvement with MySpace, which of course it was huge, and Zynga Games, which is a huge, um, still a, a huge gaming company. Um, so kind of the right person that you would want to uh, create a blockchain or head a blockchain uh, pay to, uh, 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 play to earn game. The other individual, which of course is Mike McCarthy, is the former creative director at Singer. Um, he created Farmville as well. So I'm not afraid, not ashamed to say this. When I was uh, younger, I did dabble in Farmville, like many of you uh, probably did out there. You know, I think it was a Facebook game um, that you could uh, play. And I know actually um, there's a lot of people out there that probably uh, played Farmville and, and got addicted to it. So it was a very addictive, successful game. Uh, Mike is the president of games at Gala Games. What a great title. You have this individual here, uh, which is Mr. Jason Brink. Um, Jason Brink is in charge of marketing at Gala Games. He used to work for the United Nations and sees uh, play to earn games as a way to help people out of poverty. He is quite a philosophical guy. He's given interviews where he spoke about the corruption that goes on with those emerging markets. Um, and how there's a real need for decentralization um, because it would mitigate a lot of the kind of uh, corruption that, that takes place with centralization. You know, all three of these individuals are very much on and, and pro decentralization and, 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 and pro um, fighting against corruption with decentralization, you know, very in keeping with the whole ethos of the cryptocurrency space. So what is Gala Games then? Well, Gala Games is a play-to-earn crypto project. Uh, they combine crypto mainly for decentralized aspects with gaming. Gala Games isn't VC funded and also the Gala token wasn't done via ICO. Gala Games is an ERC-20 and actually I should have added there a BEP-20, which is a BNB uh, smart chain coin exists on BNB. Um, and currently all uh, its NFTs and tokens are ERC-20s and BEPs-20s until they go live with their own side chain. Um, and we'll talk about how this side chain is going to work. Gala uh, Games raised funds through NFT sales. Um, 
mainly. Um, and also, uh, I'm assuming token sales. Um, so current milestones for Gala Games, they have um, $3 million, uh, our most expensive NFT sold. They have 90 plus team members, 1.3 million active users, and 26,000 uh, NFTs sold. So you guys will know that I believe that a blockchain's um, value is going to come from its user base. The more users, the more valuable the blockchain is going to be. Metcalf's Law, we've spoken about this on other videos. For those of you that this is your first time finding the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and click that notification bell. And also a comment really helps me out boost this um, channel um, to, to, to the general populace of YouTube. So games on Gala, we've got Spider Tank, Tank Townstar, we've got uh, Superior. We've got Mirandus, so these are four games. Then we've got Legacy, uh, Echoes of Empire. We've got Legends, Reborn, and we've got Champions Arena. We've got Grit. Um, we've got Battlestar Galactic Galactica uh, Eternity. We've got Fortitude. We've got The Walking Dead Empires. And then we've got Eternal Paradox, Town Crush, and Last Expedition. Many, many more to come uh, and in the pipelines, and you can check their website out for some of that. So how does Gala actually work? Well, Gala Network is validated and ran by nodes like many of the networks out there. Um, and at currently the only nodes I believe operational are the uh, founders nodes. Um, and you can actually get and buy a founders node and we'll talk about how expensive that is and what the benefits of it are um, and how it works. There's also going to be another two sets of nodes which I don't believe they've implemented yet. I may be wrong on that. Please correct me if I am in the comment section. So the Gala network is supported by users just like you who operate Gala nodes from their home computers. By buying a license to operate Gala nodes, you open up opportunities to receive rewards for your contribution to the network. This can include Gala limited edition NFTs and opportunities to help Gala games ecosystem grow. If you have any questions, you can go to their Discord. You can find their Discord through their official Twitter over, of course, at Gala. Um, Gala nodes open up opportunities to receive rewards like Gala, limited edition NFTs, and a chance to help the Gala uh, games ecosystem grow. So we've already spoken about that. I don't know why I put that in twice. Um, to own and become a Gala founder node, uh, you need to buy one for roughly 2.33 million Gala token. This is roughly around about $96. $96, I wish. $96,000, so nearly 100K basically. Um, there are speculations about how much you'll actually make for doing this. At one point, there was speculation it's around about 25 uh, or 50K a year. Not so sure. I can't really comment on that, but but we do have an estimate in there. Uh, but it's a lot of money. Um, and would I look at doing something like this in the future? Maybe. Um, I'd need to get a little bit more clarity, and we'll speak about where I'm at in terms of Gala uh, games um and then i'd probably want to partner with people i wouldn't want to put that sort of money in myself i'd want you know maybe four people 25 each or something um let me know in the comments if anybody's interested in doing that maybe we could even set up a community founders node or something um that we could sort of fund but that's for another video um and of course i'm not saying that's what i'm going to do just an idea app that i like to throw out there as you know i already run I already validate networks like Cardano with my stake pool. I'm looking to validate many others. So this is just a, a, an example. So 23 million or 2.3, sorry, million Gala is around about $96,000. So founders nodes earn Gala along with NFTs and tokens from Gala's current and future games along with other perks. So this is to come and be announced. Founder nodes also govern the network. Um, there will be around 50,000 nodes in total. This should allow Gala to scale to 100 million users plus. Um, that's by Mr. Brink has essentially said that. Estimated you can make about 50K a year um, for being a founding node. So I'm not so sure about how accurate that is. I don't know if that's correct. You'll need to do the maths yourself and please do not buy a node unless you've worked that out and figured out the sort of profitability, profitability of it. Um, because the last thing I want is anybody going out there and buying a node and getting their pants pulled down. Um, there are more than 16,000 player run nodes powering their ecosystem currently. Um, Agala is looking to run its own side chain and have its own native tokens and consensus, which will involve three forms of nodes eventually. So we've spoken about the founder nodes. This is proof of work, uh, which we've covered. Uh, this is essentially computing power, so power. You've got paid nodes for proof of stake. This is security. And then you've got free nodes, 
uh, for proof of storage, which is storage. So they really are trying to be as decentralized as possible and tackle the decentralized elements um, with these individual nodes. Um, and they all have slightly different you know, mecha um, mechanisms, kind of very similar to what ThorChain are doing a little bit, which is, of course goes by the ticker Rune. Um, it's an interesting project, I've got, I've got to admit. Is it a project that I'm going to be investing in while I'm undecided? Um, you know, I, I look at many projects. Anybody interested in, in what I'm looking at, you know, you'll get a lot of it on this channel. You'll also get a more in-depth guide, a more one-to-one -on -one guide um, if you decide to join my Patreon, but it's not for everybody. Um, that's enough selfless promotion. So the network eventually becomes self-adjusting. Uh, so it will work out what is needed uh, more of, so whether that's power, security, or storage, similar to uh, Thor's, uh, Thor Chain's rune. So depending on where they're lacking or where they need more juice uh, in the security section, power section, or storage, the network's supposed to be self-adjusting um, eventually. They don't actually publish a roadmap, which is annoying for me. Um, I think this is because they don't want to give deadlines. Deadlines famously are always get missed in the blockchain space, so I, I can understand that. You've got some of Gala's partners, you've got Flare, um, you've got Maze Gaming, you've got BitTrue, Brave, and Polygon. There are more, but these are some of the more notable ones. The recent Gala Games announcements, Gala soars by 70% after Dwayne Johnson and Mark Wahlberg's movie announcement. Uh, this is supposed to involve Gala. Uh, Gala Games uh, announces Gala to power Townstar in new ecosystem update. And then you've got a potential burn on the horizon. So this was from Gala Games' actual Twitter, which is at GoGalaGames. What do you think? Gala community, do we burn 100% of Gala used in purchasing on the platform? So it wouldn't be a bad idea. It would certainly pump the token price. That's the whole sort of idea behind a burn. It increases scarcity and thus the price, theoretically, and providing that you've got more buy pressure over sell pressure. And obviously you can see there's an overwhelming support for this. So onto the Gala token, um, it's an ERC20 and a BEP30. It's BEP20 is what I meant to put there, guys. Forgive my dyslexic brain. Uh, used for buying NFTs and also buying nodes. And it's also supposedly going to be used for transactions and transaction fees. Current stats, it's sat at $0.04. Cent. Um, it currently has a market cap of $292 million, fully diluted uh, with the $35 million supply that they've advertised here. Or sorry, billion supply that they have advertised here. But we're going to talk about that because there's a little bit of Coin Gecko and Coin Market Cap have different um, total supplies, and actually uh, EtherScan, which I'll show you, has a, a different total supply. That's not including Bet Twenties. So I'm kind of a little bit hmm, not so sure. I have heard that maybe 50 billion is what they're looking at. Please, somebody correct me in the comment section. So this is why I, I, I'm not an investor here. I haven't invested yet. Yeah, it's done nicely. We may trade it. But from an investment point of view, I need to know a little bit more. Maybe you guys can point me in the right direction if there's any sort of... It seems that all the YouTube content on Gala is just people talking about the price, which is fair enough. Like they think they're going to be able to predict it. And, and like everybody's claimed victory over this 200 and... Uh, uh, 20%, even though you didn't hear a peep from them for for a long time. Um, but that's the nature of marketing. That's the nature of entertainment, guys. The cryptocurrency industry is, in, in terms of entertainment, in terms of content creators, is as fake as any other industry out there, whether it's the fitness industry, all those roid guys um, that claim to be natural and tell you you can get a body by eating liver and, you know, whatever. And then you find out they're on all sorts of things like trend and, and, and whatever, but neither here nor there. Um, maybe some of the, the, the crypto influencers out there may uh, or, or maybe should look to uh, to jump on trend, give them a little bit more uh, testosterone. Um, so this is Etherscan. You can see the max supply for Etherscan is eight, uh, 38 billion. So significantly more than what was said on the previously previous slide. Um, and a fully dilute, diluted market, I'll give it a one point uh, 1.5 nearly um, market cap. Uh, let's move on. Um, so this is, of course, Etherscan. You can check things on Etherscan. Uh, I often do for those people that know how to do it. Also, Binance has a, a, a scan. So their own tokenomics are not very clear, in my opinion. Uh, I have to say, um, every year, though, the supply of Gala is cut in half. So it would be amplified if they burnt tokens as well around 50 percent of gala minted goes to the nodes um, and the other 50 percent goes to the treasury for future developments so gala's performance thus far um, from launch uh, it went 
from 0.001, so a tenth of a cent in 2020, to over 70 cent in November 2021, which was, of course, the height of the bull market. Today, it's back at 0.4 cent, uh, around 93% down. It was around like 96, 7% down previously um, from its all time high. Um, the reason that this coin got smashed so bad is because of the founder nodes consistently selling and the foundation themselves selling into a bear market, uh, completely overwhelming buy pressure in this bear market. So that's the long and short of it. You know, people still don't understand how price works. Price is determined and reached on a daily basis by what's bought and sold. So if you have more sellers than buyers, the price goes down and vice versa. Um, it's that simple. Um, it's currently 94th in terms of market cap, uh, providing that this is correct. Um, you know, it's right around uh, BAT basic attention token, which is Brave Browsers token, uh, Loopring, Engine Coin, uh, Decentered, uh, and NEM. NEM used to be a top um, top five, I think. It's actually at one point NEM was. That's, that's fallen from grace massively. Uh, recent price action over the past month, Gala went up by 228 percent bloody unbelievable right i'd love to have uh, caught that and maybe slapped some leverage on that bad boy um likely insiders um on the burn news and partnerships that have been announced it's kind of re-getting re favor it's probably quite an illiquid market as well i would imagine um probably not a, a lot of price action and trading going on in that market this is how you get these big squeezes um certainly when um shorts get wrecked and become forced uh, uh, uh buyers uh for it to go back to its all-time highs it's a uh, 1,956 um, percent increase, so not a 19,000 percent increase. So it's 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 about a 20x. Um, its main competitor is Axie Infinity, which has a market cap of 744 million dollars of time of me writing. Um, Gala's 200, so around about 300 million. So it's it's less than half. However, at one point, Axie Infinity had a nine billion at the height of the bear market market cap um, at all time highs, and Gala had a five billion. So there is definitely room for, I would say, a five, ten, fifteen, twenty x maybe when things turn around. Certainly, if Gala continue and, and prove to be successful, not financial advice, just my opinion. Uh, to be honest and, and transparent, I haven't bought any Gala and am undecided on or whether to, um, as I have many altcoins that I'm looking at. Join the Patreon for more, and of course click that subscribe button and follow this channel you can actually go ahead and buy gala from binance coinbase crypto.com okx kucoin gateio uniswap and uh, bithub so that's of course if you want to um that is really all i have for you in this video guys it was just supposed to be a, a comprehensive guide on what gala is how it works a little bit about the tokenomics Am I buying Gala here? No. Will I look to do so in the future? Potentially, but I'll keep you guys up to date on that. That is all I have for you in this video, guys. All in crypto reporting live. Thanks for watching. See you in the next YouTube video. Like and comments are always appreciated. Catch you in the next one, guys.